Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your summarized reading of 2020. And I got to say happy birthday because I'm filming this during, you know, October as we're getting into Scorpio season. Woohoo! Happy birthday. Yeah, I hope y'all are having a good one. Um, hey, you know, this year is going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot in your thoughts. I think friends, other people are going to take a, a, a big role in your life. I mean, on the love front, I think the first half of this year might be a little ho-hum. But that might actually be welcome. <laughs> Uh, because it almost seems like you guys are coming out of some negativity and toxicity and you really, this might be for the best. Um, and if you're not out of the negativity and toxicity by January, um, I think by February, you're walking away from it. Okay, I can definitely see, though, from beginning to end of this spread, there's this kind of toxicity coming up where this entire year... There's really big changes, you know, I saw with the clarifying cards, you had the world card, you have the uh, wheel of fortune card, so you are completing major cycles and you are, um, you know, also going through some faded changes that are in your favor as well and it's all showing up in the positive where you're completing things, so changes coming in that are big for you many changes where you're having to really flex and flow and adapt this year. Not the easiest thing for us fixed signs, right? <laughs> but the good news is that you're overcoming this toxicity that I'm really seeing sandwiching this spread here with that devil card here and the devil card showing up over there as a clarifier. The devil card might be some X, okay? This person might try to come in by the end of this year, might try to reconcile midpoint this year might leave them behind. You might have already left them behind or you're leaving them behind at the beginning of this year for some of you. Whoever this toxic person is or this toxic situation. Um, but all these changes are bringing um, a shift in the way that you deal with unhealthy give and take dynamics in relationships. And I want to say, you know, coming into January, it, it is looking a little bit, I, I got to give a warning because I'm filming this in October, all right? So for some of you, if this is not a toxic person, it might be finances, feeling like finances are out of your control. Uh, I see that improving by as early as March, April area, okay, time frame. But I just want to warn you because what I'm seeing going on here, possibly with your finances in January, I'm telling you in October, November, December, do not overextend yourself with spending, please, okay? Because I don't know for some of you if this is like you went over your budget with holiday shopping or whatever and now you're just getting cut off from something, all right? But... For some of you, this is just like, uh, I'm going to say, does not look hot on at all on the love front. It's not sexy at all. I mean, in fact, some of y'all probably not. Either you are totally single, or if you're with somebody, that relationship is so on the rocks, you're probably not even having sex with them. I'm sorry to say, in January, okay? The good news is that by February, I definitely see you leaving this behind, evolving the situation. I see changes. You, you know, you're in deep thought in January about how to bring the change. And then by February, you're actually taking the action. Yeah, it might be difficult, but you realize you, this is what you've got to do. And it might, for some of you, have to do with work. For others of you, it has to do with some lies and trickery and illusion and deceit that was going on. And you're like, I'm done with this. And with a page of fire, some of you maybe are getting some kind of um, really exciting news opportunity coming in that somebody's made a decision that they want to work with you. They want to cooperate with you. Now, for some of you, it might be on the love front where it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Got a lot of pages here. So again, a lot of communications going on. Pages can sometimes be children or people under 30 or people who act like they're under 30. <laughs> I know, but um, with a page of fire here, I see some really good positive news coming in where somebody's made a decision they want to work with you, either romantically or professionally. This is really exciting, and I see that if, you know, you start the year out with things kind of eh, on the finances, well, 
good news by March, it's improving. And definitely when I see April with this messenger of Earth, you're making slow, steady, methodical progress. It might involve an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm seeing you focused a lot during this month on your, your physical and financial well-being and healing. And I think this is part of, spoiler alert, I got a lot of the messages that the angels this year are really helping you to detoxify in, in many ways, um, with your, your health, your, your, your nutrition, you know, taking care of your body but also in terms of, you know, your relationships, your fight, your relationship, not just with people, but with money, uh, with material items. So, you know, you're working diligently and you're being very grounded and stable. And so um, great time with finances, March through April. Now I do for, see for some of you some pain and separation here because it could be tied, I think for some of you to a family situation. All right, I got some clarifying cards that there's a battle of wills and somebody who's just foolish, risky behavior that has created a lot of blockages and delays and driven a wedge between the two of you. Uh, maybe divided loyalties as well, and I see it painful, and you might decide I'm separating myself from this because I can't win with this person. This is somebody who has to win at any cost. The give and take is not fair. It's not equitable and it's it's toxic it's a great toxicity so i do want to warn you about may just be aware of this in a family dynamic or with somebody who's got to win at any cost uh, you could be let down deeply disappointed and decide you've got to separate yourself from this um, in in may if you haven't already okay the good news though this is followed up by three of water where by june you are happy and celebrating maybe with friends Maybe there's some kind of healing or reconciliation going on between you and this person or just within yourself um, where you're getting some kind of acknowledgement and victory. If it is a relationship, there's been a lot of back and forth with this person, that's for sure. And I think you've, you've worked hard. You've put a lot of effort into this person and you're finally getting rewarded for your efforts in June. So... Then that's followed by July, more positivity with the Ace of Fire where you get a brand new start. And I'm going to tell you, Mars is going to that seventh house. So this is when the passion really ramps up. Now, I got to give a warning. <laughs> okay, we, you know, let's be honest. This is, let's look at both sides of it. Right? Okay, it could be, you know, things firing up in the bedroom. Lovely. Who doesn't want that, right? Um, if you don't want that, you don't need to watch my channel, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you know, the, the downside of it is passions could fire up outside of the, outside of the bedroom, right? Arguments, fighting. So be aware of this. Now for others of you, this is not about relationships. This is about your creative passions, traveling, business, creative ideas, really good stuff. And I see you getting wish fulfillment here during this time. But again, it might come through a friend or somebody where there's soul union, with this person, the two of you emotionally have a connection. You are in agreement. You are working together. Notice, you know, I got that earlier that somebody wants to cooperate with you. They want to support you in an interdependent, mutually beneficial way. Not this toxicity, this uneven give and take, right? No. Somebody here wants equivalent exchange. They want to give to you as you're giving to them. And I see it as well. You're like, you're in agreement about this exchange. Um, and there's definitely you know, wish fulfillment with this person. Or you're in agreement with them about how to get this wish fulfillment and create a new beginning. Now, in August, could be losing a little bit of sleep at night because of worry and anxiety, maybe involving an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Definitely you're showing up again here in this dynamic where there's changes, there's transformation. Don't be worried because I'm almost sensing that for some of you, you're really trying to wrap your head around how to get change in your life. And maybe because you met somebody. For some of you, if you're going to meet somebody, it's likely going to happen the second half of this year where things really ramp up. A very passionate, intense, profound attraction, okay? A soulmate, all right? Um, but you're really kind of in your head a lot about how am I going to make this happen? 
and just beware of um, any kind of interference, verbal interference, um, biting words between the two of you or coming outside of the relationship, people criticizing this partnership, beware of that. Um, but I am seeing that by October, I'm sorry, September with the Emperor card, this divine masculine energy is really stepping up, taking a leadership role. I saw a lot of mother father dynamics showing up here where you are integrating something, you are completing some lesson or getting some kind of acknowledgement having to do with this masculine feminine energy. And I do see somebody definitely getting control, um, maybe where there was chaos, um, order where there was a disorder. Uh, and I'm also seeing somebody really stepping into their divine leadership also to get the growth, the renewal, the expansion, maybe fertility, by the way, spoiler alert, Fertility showing up here in September and some of the Oracle advice on Vimeo is about uh, there was a message if any of you are dealing with fertility issues um, about getting angelic support on that as well. So positive stuff. Page of air though back in your mind and maybe getting communications. Some of you contracts coming in. Uh, but I don't know if you're confident about it. There might be some self-doubt, even though you're very well positioned. And it might have to do with, you know, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, children might be at play here um, where there's some doubts coming in. I did see for some of you maybe a child moving home. Um, some of you, though, getting some communication about some exciting new offer, all right? And then by November, moving forward, possibly involving Cancer or Sagittarius, and you're getting a new start. Some of you, you might be, you know, going off alone as a single person or you're in a brand new relationship and maybe not sure exactly where this is going, but you are making progress, whether you're single or sing uh, coupled by this time. Now in December, be careful with the moon card here might be Pisces that is relevant, but something is not clear as of yet. And it might have to do with some change coming in your life that is faded. It is in your favor. And yeah, it might have to do with a move or changes coming in with business, the way that you earn revenue. Okay. It could also be an ex-partner coming in from the past. And you're going to have to decide, is this person healed or not? Okay, because if it's the same old BS, I just don't think you're going to have it anymore. All right. Um, just be aware things are not entirely what they seem. And again, someone might come in really charming and they end up disappointing you. Or conversely, you're not so sure you can trust this person and it turns out you can. Of course, more details and advice with the clarifying cards. They're on Vimeo. But yeah, at the foundation, I see that um, a lot of plans being made and decisions being made this year having to do with partnership and for your future. But it doesn't come without struggle, okay? Because I think you're having a difficult time finding agreement with people and maybe dealing with people who, you know, maybe play mind games. I gotta say, mind games for some of you, but you're getting away from that. Okay, you're going to expand horizons one way or another with or without them. And yeah, I do think for a lot of you, it has to do with your love life and finding happiness. But I can see this is going to be a year where you encounter love and happiness issues that require careful handling in order for you to get balance. Fortunately, I see this balance coming through interdependent, healthy relationships, healthy give and take between yourself and another. And so definitely, if you want to know more about that, it is on Vimeo. I hope you'll join me over there if you're interested. And until next time, I'm wishing you all the best, Scorpio. Be blessed.